Okay, I thought I'd do a little more on grid style movement, but a little more advanced, I suppose. Um, <clears throat> so I originally was just going to do it on here, but I think overall uh, using a train probably isn't going to be the best thing for it. So I just I made a cube here, and I'm going to zero them off and go over to this cube. You know, get some elevation, bring my camera over, and I think for the uh, for the more the advanced stuff. I'm, I'm going to use meshes because I think it would, it would be a lot easier. So I'm going to make just a normal plane. 5x5 five five is probably fine. Let's build that. That's probably good. And that's with Pro Builder. I just want it because of the grids. And I'm going to move it down to line that up adjust those just so the cube fits right in each square and then I'm going to oh, make a couple other versions of it and let's go 5.5 now what we can probably just turn this on I could probably just do that. Nope. Yeah, well having that having that little bit of an offset there. It's just I have to move everything, I guess. Not a biggie. Grab all that again, duplicate it again, and we'll go one more in this direction. All right, I'll turn that off and take all of those. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to create an empty, that'll help keep things a little more organized. Drop it in there. Take him and move him down so that he can line up with that slot. So when we move, I'm just going to move the cube going over to, you know, one, you know, two. All right, so now we have a grid and I wanted different ones so I can, I can tag them differently. So they use, um, this. I'm going to going to actually duplicate that. Oh, maybe I can't duplicate it. Oh, I can't create in here. Oh, okay, yep. Makes sense. Makes sense. Let's just go, let's do another folder because I make a million folders. And in, whoops, in here, uh, let's do ice and let's make that the same, so we use that same grid. guy there. Actually, you know what? We could probably just use a normal standard one and just go with that same thing, actually. So let's say, now let's make him and him. Uh, where did I just stick that? 
the ice, which obviously doesn't look like ice, but <clears throat> there we go. Now we have ice, and I will tag those. We should make a tag. We'll call it ice. Uh, what else should we do? Let's do let's do this one. Let's do mud, and go here. Stick mud into there. And obviously change the color of mud. Something like that. Go mud. And I think I'll take all of them. Do we have a layer for ground? No, let's add a layer. And let's stick them all on ground layer. <coughs> and that will allow us to interact with our ground uh, based on whatever it is. So we want grid movement. So I am going to... Uh, put a character controller yeah we can use a character controller for this why not don't need a box collider but in here because we're going to use uh, the grid movement I'm going to use the axes event so we have left right up and down <coughs> so if we go left we are going to get position actually you know what I think we could do vector 3 snap to grid so get position, our current position, and let's vector 3 add x, y, z. Maybe we should do it that way. And if we're going left, we're going negative one on the X. I guess we really don't need to snap it on the grid as long as we're already on the grid. I mean, you can add that there to make sure, I suppose. Okay. And what should we do? We could do simple move if we wanted to. Actually, that's not even a bad idea itself. If we, we don't even need to get the position. Let's just set a vector. X, Y, Z. How about that? Move. And give it a negative 1. Move to the move. Speed. Uh, I don't know. 2, maybe? World space. And then we could, uh, I don't know, that's not going to be the most accurate thing. Well, I mean, it should be accurate, but you never know. Yeah, you know, maybe, um, I think controller, simple controller, probably not the best idea. Let's just get the position. It's going to be the most accurate thing for us going to prevent any issues and then we can just vector add and then we 
we could move. We could use move towards. Why not? To our current position. And we can have our speed. Finish distance zero. Oh no, we should have a finish. Okay, let's just see what happens if we do this. So that's going left. So, you know, I, I want to fix that pos that position. And I think if I put it to zero, I don't know if it's going to trigger that. Yeah, see how it's 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 gonna stay there now. So move towards because because of that. Well, you know what you, you actually almost could do is go point zero one, then on the finish, just set position to our current position. And then that will prevent that little tiny error from building up. Right? See how we're at the solid negative one. Right. So that's a little better. So let's let's do that. And then let's just copy that. Go over here and do the same thing but for the right. And up and down. So we got up and down. Only obviously this one's not going to be negative 1, he'll be 1. This guy will be 0, but he'll be 1. This guy will be 0, but he'll be negative 1. So now we have this kind of a grid-like movement. <coughs> very, very simple. Right, and, and in reality, I mean, if you want more of the this kind of look, other than literally just doing things on an angle, which is totally doable. Like, you don't have to move directly on these. You can offset things. But, I mean, you also could just move a camera over, right? And you still have that same effect. And if you hold it down, I mean, it's pretty smooth. So, <clears throat> what about all of this stuff, though, or barriers? All right, so as we've seen before, is just to raycast. I like raycast, too. Uh, I think it's good. So, we want to go... So, that's going to be... We'll use the world distance of one store did hit up blocked and let's make sure distance wise that that's good. All right, so one is taking us here. Which, I mean, it is probably good enough. You probably don't need to go too far. Um, Cause if you get in too far, if you touch this one, you can have issues. So I, 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 think, I think just leaving it at one is probably fine. If you go 0.5, you're just touching barely anything. I mean, you also could go 0.75. But, you know, I think, I think one will work. 
Okay, so that's that way. And then we want another one going negative Z. And that's down, blocked. And then let's do another one. And we'll go one, that's right blocked. Let's do another one. And if you've guessed negative X, you were right. And left blocked. All right. And of course, you can throw masks on layers and stuff like that. <coughs> so now, what do we do? Well, if I'm going right, you know, we could go here, but what if we're going to get blocked? Well, let's just do FSM bool test. And you know what? We should probably name these things. Move. And now it's called the block, I suppose. So let's check block and we're, we're going right. So let's check right blocked. And if it's true, then it's blocked. And if it's false, then it's clear. Clear and blocked. Right, and we can literally just add that in to all of them. Right, we go down, clear, blocked. Only we're not checking the right block, we're checking the down block. Right, we're going left, clear, block, and we're going left block. And we go up. This is the up block. Clear, oh, clear, oh, clear. And block. All right? So now if I drop a another cube in here, uh, let's say he's something like that. And I hit play. I, I can't go any farther. I can, I can go the other directions, but it's, it stops me, right? It's not letting me go. I can go around it, but I can't go any farther into it. Just like that. All right, so that works. Oh yeah. Now we have a system where we can move and we can deal with <coughs> objects. Just like that. And it's pretty simple. Okay, so what about this kind of stuff, right? Well, we have tags here now. I apparently didn't put that tag on, but we have tags. We have ice, we have mud, and they're on the layers of ground. Okay, well. How do we use those tags? So, uh, let's change speed to a speed variable. Okay, I'm gonna do that for all of them. So now we have a speed variable, and we can default it to, to 5, kind of where we had it. <coughs> but now we can modify it, right? So this guy here needs to be first, because if we're blocked, we're, we, don't, we don't care. We're not going to do anything else. So now, if it's clear, though, what do we want to do? Well, we're going to want to... We're going to want to raycast right so let's raycast 2 but now we're going to want to go debug and we're going to want to go down but we also want from a certain position right and that position is going to be 
get position. We can use our current position, sure, why not? And do we have the direction? I don't think we have. Well, maybe we do. This one is also on. Oh no, that's a set vector three direction. Oh yeah. There is an action. I am sure of it. Get forward. I I, I used get forward quite often. Um. Set vector three direction. Hmm. Position. We want to go what right? Not too sure how this one works. So let's test that out. There, there's other ways of doing this. I just thought this might be an easier way. Current. Right. Yeah, you know what? I don't know. That that might confuse people. Okay, so vector three add. So what, what do we want to add to? We're going to get our position. And now you also got to keep in mind. Now my anchor point is right in the middle. So if your anchor points at the bottom, which is quite often the case with models. You're going to want to add a little bit of a Y to this value as well. In my case, being my anchor point is here, I don't need to. But I'm going to add, we're going right. So I'm going to go over one. And I'm going to raycast from our position, but I'm going to raycast down. Okay. Now if I debug that, we should see a little beam going down. And we want to be hitting the, that floor. Apparently we're going. Oh, geez, what am I doing here? It's supposed to be a negative one, but it's using our current position. We've added. That is not what it's supposed to be doing. So let's see what happens if we do something here. It is not using that variable at all. So that, that is not doing us any good. Let's Try the normal raycast from position of our position. We're adding direction negative one. World should be fine and throw a debug on it. Pretty sure that is not. I don't even see it. Oh yeah, it's still inside of us. So 
that is being a pain in the arse. So there is a very, very easy way of doing this. Uh, and that's simply by... I was hoping to avoid this, because normally you should be able to... Uh, <coughs> do that, but for whatever reason, it is not letting me do that. So, whatever. Not that big of a deal. Right. And down. So we have, and if you ever want to see these things, you can add these little tags here and turn on 3D's base. Should be able to see them. Oh yeah, see? I, if you want to. I, I, most of the time I turn that crap off, but <coughs> kind of makes it nice so you, you can kind of see. So anywho, so now we have these. So I was kind of hoping to avoid that because we should be able to just use a position, but whatever. Not that big of a deal. So now we're just going to raycast from now on this one, we're going to use the right. And I'm going to go down. Okay. So now we should have a beam going down here. Right, there we go. So distance-wise, two is obviously long. You know, go a little into the floor. 0.75 will be fine. And then what we want to do is get hit event, or no, the hit object. Don't need the debug anymore. And we're going to get tag. And what we're going to do is null. Oh, not the string. The game object. We might as well add this in here as an extra precaution. The hit object, if it's a null, we're just going to call it blocked and we're going to go back here because there's nothing there. And <coughs> if you want, you can handle that maybe a little bit different and uh, um, you know, do a, a jump or a fall or something, you know, quite possible. Okay, I'm not going to put the is null in here. I'm, it's just for is null. And I'm making sure this is right after the raycast, prior to the get tag. So now we're going to get the hit tag. And the other thing I'm going to do is on the raycast, I only want to hit ground. That's all we're checking for. And then we're going to do a string switch. Move that right to the bottom. So hit tag. We have three. We have ice. We have mud. And we have just untagged. Untagged. And it said you can change that tag. Give it whatever tag you want. Really doesn't matter. So, okay, ice, mud, and normal. Okay, they all need events. Push this out. So, wh what do we want to do? Well, if we are, for example, we want to do normal first. And what do we want to do? Set float. Speed, we'll say 5. Alright, if we hit mud, maybe we're going to move slow. We'll go 1, real slow. And if we 
hit ice, we need something a little different because now we need to not um, stop moving, right? So there's a few different ways we could do this. We could raycast and we could just move to that direction. We could do that, but <coughs> um, I think it would almost be easier to say, let's, let's go, let's go six. We're going to speed up, right? And we're going to go back. Now we, I'm, I'm going to intervene with this thing before it goes back or at, as it's going back, right? And the way we're going to do that is with a variable. We'll use a bool on ice. So bool test. Just a normal bool test, not an FSM. And not there either. So when he comes back, he's going to be doing a bool test on ice. If true on ice or not on ice. So if we're not on ice, we go back. If we're on ice, let's go back to our blocker. So when we're here, what do we need to do? Set bool value on ice to true. And we're going to copy that. We're going to bring it over here because it's false if we're on here. So now we have this kind of a return and we have some stuff here. So we're blocked. So if we're clear, We don't have a clear on here anymore. We just have blocked and those. So let's get rid of clear. Okay, so let's, you know what, let's copy all of that. Uh, you also could Uh, build like a little integer switch to go back and forth and only have this logic once then but you know what for simplicity sake um, I'm just going to duplicate it it will make life easier overall I think let's move this over here so if we're blocked we're here if we're clear we're here so this guy is not going to go from the right He's going to go from the left. Right? Beyond that, the rest of it's the same. So if it's, and all this stuff is the same, right? So when this guy's done, he goes up here. Uh, the rest of these just go. They do their little modifications based on what we're on. And we go. So if we're not on ice and we're not on ice. And so blocked. All right. So there's left and right. So copy that again. Bring it up and stick it in. Sounds kind of bad, but hey. So we go here. And this guy obviously isn't going to be using that one. He's going to be using the up. Right, so normal and normal and normal, and when he is finished, he goes here. And if we're on ice over there, not on ice, we go here. Blocked, he goes here. So far, I mean, starting to look a little messy, but. You'll see how effective this really becomes. So we're clear. We go here. Block. We go back. This guy now uses the down. Right. So when he's finished, he goes here. On ice. 
goes back. Not on ice goes up. These all go to him. Nope, these all go down here. Sorry. Did I do those ones right? Because they go. Yeah. Alright, so that's so kind of a little bit of ugly. Can use some organization. Alright, so things look normal. And if I try to go off the edge, well, apparently I can do it, so we gotta fix that. But you see how the speed now? Super, super slow. And if I hit this one, I can, I can let go of the keyboard and he just slides right through. And we can slide in, nope. We slid into the wall and went through the wall. So let's test that. So let's go over here. Uh, where are we here? So if we are just looking for ground, no. Okay. Shh. All right. Let's go over here and let's go over one more and see what the move says. So we went this way, we came over, he said plane three, which is probably this guy here. Yep. So very easy. So what we need to, okay, shh. I am going to set these To a null. Oh, and make sure to put them above the bull test. That should stop them from going off <coughs> or being able to, to detect if it's a cliff. Yeah, see, I can't go. Yeah, so there we go. Now, oh, hitting the button way too many times apparently. It doesn't like that. So we go slow in our mud. And I can't fall off the edge. I go quicker on the ground. And I slide. And I speed up a, a bit too. I don't know if you notice that. Maybe I should speed that up a bit. But So now, what do we want? We want to be able to hit this thing. Right, because that's we. Whoop. Oh, that's weird. When I do it uh, from the wrong angle. So if I go up, we want to go. Boop. So let's. I'm just going to pause it there because right there, it should have. It went up. On ice. Oh, you know what? That on ice is sh should have gone here. Ah, I messed that up. So on ice, don't go here, go here. On ice, go to the, because that, 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 this is our block checker, right? I just, I messed that up. There we go. Boop. All right, so now, and there was a question for this in Discord, is what about distance and speed in, in order to, to say if you had a wall somewhere and you wanted to break it? 
so let's do this let's a big kind of T let's add a fake velocity number I'm gonna use an integer okay <clears throat> so we have our fake velocity or you can call it power or something and there's a, definitely a few ways to do this one so if we're moving we'll say if we get here let's int add velocity one move it to the top and let's put that on all of them Right, so that's oh. there we go. So it, we're adding an integer, but when we get back here, set int. Value velocity to zero. All right now we might have to do a little modification to this but now and if, and if we watch if I stick this down here um, we have our little velocity number and as, as if I move you'll see it go up and back down and it doesn't matter if I hold it down it's just going to be sitting at one but if I try to move across say, the ice, see how it adds up, and then it goes to zero if I stop moving. So now we have this, this kind of counter. So what if we have, in the ways of something breakable, Put this down to 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Let's stick it, I don't know. It'll be a good place for this. You know what, let's get rid of that. Duplicate him. And we're gonna move him over that one little bit okay so this little guy he is gonna have well just for shits and giggles of it uh, he's gonna have it like that and let's just duplicate him and there's going to be numerous ways to do this one too because we could do it by FSM we could do it by tag we can do it by layer now let's turn this oh what did we do there what did we do? Pull him out. Lord, tundering. All right, let's just set that in here. Oh, he's like way down here. No wonder. So let's just move him over. Go 
build ourselves a little wall. Ain't gotta be that pretty, I guess. Don't really need that one. All right, now let's stick one here. And let's stick one here. So what we want is a way that if we hit these things, these things could have a, you know, a breakable. So FSM break. break value put that in here and let's say I don't know uh, let's go six I guess for starters stick one here you can also be six for now All right so now we have these two breakable things so if we have hit something and we are blocked what do we want to do well <coughs> we should find out what's blocking us so in here let's just store block uh, down blocked right and blocked left there we go all right so <clears throat> if we are blocked here let's not just go back let's check something first let's get FSM game object to our blocked and in our case we're going right so let's get blocked right and this becomes well I can probably just reuse that uh, let's get root because we put the FSM on its root so get the root of hit object which is now, we'll call it root, which when we come back here, let's make sure we set root to null. So we get the root, now we want to get fsm int of root which I'm just going to drag this thing over for a second called break and break value break value we don't need that every frame that was an accident now I can use root and then we can int compare move it to the bottom so if our velocity is greater, you know, break it. If it's equal, yeah, I guess we can break it. If it's less, don't break it. Right? So if we don't break it, that means we're going back here. But if we're going to break it, What do we want to do? Well, let's get children in our specific case. And these are on the ecosystem. 
of root store the children and we need a variable of a type array uh, we'll just call it children So let's store children and then let's fin just finish that one. Let's array get next of the children. We're going to loop and we're going to done. Result is current child All right so we loop and done so when we're done we either could keep moving or we can go back it's entirely up to you whether you want to stop or keep moving All right either either way it, it'll work either way it don't matter so during the loop though what do we want to do we are going to set or use gravity on the child to true. Set climatic on the child as false. That's it. And then we can, you could also just have this all preset in the destructible and call the event as well, whatever. So when we're done, let's actually, you know what? Yeah, let's just go up here. Let's add explosion force to current child in the center will be get position we don't need to do that during the loop, I suppose. We can actually just do it up here. Our current position. Make sure we have that. And use that here. Alright, so let's, let's test to make sure that's working. I'm just going to duplicate him since I have it on the right side. If I were to move this guy over, say here, I just hit it, All right? Because our velocity, quotation marks, only gets to three, All right? And this guy needs a six. So if I even put him there, My uh, raycast didn't hit him there. All right. Nope, not quite there. How about that? Let's see, make sure he gets there. Oh, that should have worked. Our velocity was high. So, oh, because I'm going to the left. Duh. Sweet Jesus. I don't, I don't have the logic built on the left. <clears throat> right. Um, but yeah, you, you know, I almost think that should be... I don't, I don't think that's going to be the best thing to do. I think, I think getting rid of this... Um, 
and just by event, I think is going to be a smarter move. Right? Like, so for example, on the break, let's just give a, whoops, an event called break. And this will allow us to do a couple things. Uh, it also makes everything a little more flexible. Well, let's just right because now over here I can just send event, send event to, and I'm just going to use this guy. Break, break, and you are the root. Okay, so that's just going to be so we are going to copy that and we can paste it. Things are getting a little, yeah, definitely need to organize this a little bit. Right, so blocked. We go here. Don't break it. Go back, break it. Go forward. So this guy isn't going to do the blocked right. He's going to do the block down. Right? Got to make sure to change those. Paste. So we're blocked. We go here, don't break it, we go back, we break it, we go forward, and this guy is going to use blocked left. And if we're blocked, we're going here, he goes up, don't break it, goes down, and he's using blocked up. All right, so now the, the difference on these things is we can now array, get children of object, um, which is going to be itself, needs an array, my children, which are a game object, so store it here, that can actually go over here in the start. So over here now, array list. Oh, no, array get next. And this will be, we're more or less going to do the same logic I had before, just over on this thing. But there are one more little extra piece to it, which you'll see why we added it here instead of over there. So we have loop. And we have done. Done and loop. So on the loop, same thing. We are just going to do uh, so gravity, that, explosion, get position. And let's, that means we're also going to get event info. Move him to the top. Sent by the player and yeah whatever not a big deal um, so we'll get position of the player player position and gravity of current is true and current that's false add explosion to current center player position 15 2 and 5 and impulse and loop oh nope not loop sorry loop as, a, as in go back so we can do the loop I almost think I should just put this here. I mean, really, I should be trying to teach you guys good habits, not bad. There's no point in getting this twice or during every loop. Same with the position. 
right? We might as well save on performance whenever we can. We go here, we do a wait. You know, maybe five seconds. Just to a finish. And then I'm going to do the same thing, almost. We're going to loop through all the children again, only this time we are going to destroy... Actually, you know what? They're all children. <laughs> we don't even need to do that. I can just destroy myself. And they'll get destroyed with me. I suppose I could just even even just do that. I don't even need the weight in there now. Nice and clean. Alright, let's put that over here. Alright. So now we I have an issue with that one I gotta fix. Oh, I think I know why. Alright, because what's happening there with this one, and we should fix this. Alright, because you ain't gonna want that. We go up. Um, is it blocked? Probably is true. There is no object here for anything to happen to. So, I think it's just kind of throwing it for a loop. We'll come this way, smash that. Oh, now it's working this way. Oh, I probably didn't clear off one of the variables. Note to self, we should do that. So if I go to this one, nothing. Get into our slow mud and go. Alright, if I go here, nothing. I have to actually slide into it. Um, <coughs> You could try to do a velocity while you're moving as well, just based on time that you aren't pushing a direction. But now we have all of this. Now the only thing this one doesn't cover would be stairs. Right, stairs are kind of a whole whole other beast. So if we did stairs, what would we have to do if we went 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, bring this all back down here, give it say a 45, Point two should be a little more accurate there. Nope. Point one. Set that to world. You know what I think I'll do? I'm gonna snap that. If you, want to know, if, you, if you want to learn how to snap, you can hold down V and you can grab vertices. All right, okay, I want to grab this vertice and stick it there. So now it's like sucked right down into it, All right? <coughs> so let's make sure 45 is long enough that we stop. Nope, it's not. But now that's that same issue here, where we can go through. But after we hit that, that one works. Dun dun dun. But we can go through, but we can't go far any farther. All 
All right, so we need to adjust a few things here. A, let's distance on these. Let's go 1.25. 1.25, make those just a little longer. Don't want to go crazy with them. And mind you, you always could just put an, an invisible collider around it and that would solve that issue anyways. That's almost a good idea. Because um, what do we have? When we're moving, we're doing a move towards. You know what? Let's let's try that. Let's add a box collider. And that's totally not what I was expecting. This guy can go to one, this guy can go back down to point ones. There, now I can <clears throat> add a box and not worry about that. Only I want this thing to go zero, and this guy to go 45. Set him to five. All right. And let's make sure he's a trigger. So, I wonder if we should tag that. Stairs up. And then, he doesn't have a collider now, so we can't technically hit it. So, but this guy, let's see. So that is up, back, that's the right side. Let's make sure he sees the trigger. He needs to see this. Yeah, so he can see it. Good, good. Right, because now, with that said, let's go to the move. Uh, right, because if we go, say we're going right and we're blocked, we have this. We have the hit object. We also could now, because we get the root, da, 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 da. we do the compare, get tag, stick this up here. So on the hit object is now the hit tag, string compare. I'm not going to use the switch this time. Now it's very important for the order. You notice how I'm getting the tag and doing the compare up here right after we get the object prior to all this. So if this is, we call that stairs up. If that's equal, go up stairs. <clears throat> Alright, because now we could say copy one of these maybe we go a little slow up the stairs 
ice is still wrong or right and <coughs> let's go like this vertical right set float value vertical to one copy and paste it here to zero oh, make sure that was a copy and paste it here to a zero and paste it here to a zero all right let's see if that works so we go right 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 oh what happened there right Okay, so it did go here. Oh, you know what? It would help if I actually tag these things properly. Eh? So that actually worked pretty good. I don't like the positioning there. Uh, so here we add to the X. We would need Let's just call this. Oh, uh, tr tr tr. Movement. Okay, so now we'll do that. Well, <clears throat> we do it all up there too, but we need this to be a little different. Set float value. So for on ice, movement to one 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 and two because we're going upstairs All right now obviously on this side you wouldn't be going add one 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 two because we need a negative one negative one negative one negative two right and here movement wouldn't be on the x it would be on the z so a little bit of <coughs> changing but that should allow us now Oop. Uh oh can't move right at all Okay, because that we need to again paste it before here and put it to zero. Got to reset those variables. All right, so why is this not working now? Did I movement? Oh, well, Lord Tundra. There we 
know, make sure to put it on the ad, not on the getting the, the position. That would help too. All right, so things are normal. We go over, we have stairs, but now it puts us over here, All right? Now it, it's saying that we can't move because we're, you know, flying up in the air and it doesn't realize that, All right? Because, but if you were to put one of these up, 0.5 snap him there snap this here now all of a sudden we have and we should be Okay, so apparently my distances are off. Because we are, we are at a height of one. But we have that half point, right? So if I go 0 0.5, 0 0.75, that's where that's got to be. So he needs he needs to go up like that. So this thing is a little short. I mean, not that I'm trying to freaking model any of this thing so stuff, I guess. <coughs> more of a demonstration. I mean, if you have stairs and stuff, it's all going to be set. It's just a matter of adjusting uh, models or your ray cast and stuff. Right. So now we're up here and I can move around just fine. But now we don't have a go downstairs. Right. So you'd almost need to uh, right, so I'll put it on this side so we can go up the stairs here. We can't go up the stairs any other direction, so you have to you take go and go elsewhere. Pretty crazy FSM for movement, though, eh? So we go right, we go up. If we're going left, we're going to go down. So what are we going to do? We're going to say, okay, we're blocked, we're clear. We come over here. And we, we do our ray cast down, right? And we go 0.75. So we need to make those bigger. Okay, or we might have to just do this. Let's see. Stairs. How I spelt it? Yes. <coughs> All right. So we go up, up, and he's saying blocked. It is null. Game object is not hitting. And if we increase this distance, and that should be hitting it. Oh, you know what, though? Of course, he's not going to hit it because we did. Um, this guy is on the ground layer, right? Now we can hit it. See how he's stuck now? Okay, yeah. Now I know what's happening. Alright, so we come over here. He's ground, which is fine. We'll, we'll keep it that way. Stairs up. 
So we are now moving downstairs, right? And this is where we, again, we'd use another one of these. You might end up having like 10 of these things by the time you're done. And just like over here, right? Let's grab all of those. And let's just bring them over here and paste them in here. Get rid of these two so I don't get doubles here. So we're moving down. So we're going to go speed of two on ice is false. Vertical is now going to be negative one. We're going left, so we need a negative two. And we need to also set these here, technically, right? That's zero, that's one. You know, and you can adjust those if you need, right? But that should now allow us to, moving right, go up going oh and you know I didn't bother putting it on the layer even though I figured that part out already but whatever all right so we go up now we come over here we go oh and I never put the man I just can't seem to get that right can I I mean, it's, it recognized it was supposed to go down at least, so that's a positive. Oh, it didn't go the double, and that's because I didn't adjust these. So this is movement, and the Y is vertical. There we go. So now we have, we can slide into walls. See now I, I ex made that ray cast a little bigger. I should shrink it down, it's a little too much now. But you know, we can now go up and down stairs. Can't fall off edges. But if you put a trigger there, you could have it. You can do that, or a jump spot or something. But yeah, I think these now are too long, so I'm just going to bring those back down to ones. And then we have one more thing to look at, and that is to see what is happening here, right? Because as we moved, we went forward. Where we went up was blocked should have been here it had nothing get root so that's where we pretty much need we would need also a is null check and so you would you would put these under all of them right I'm not gonna bother doing that I don't think but right so we're gonna get the hit object and we're gonna check him for null because if he's null um, then you know we're just gonna be let's just use the don't break it and go back and that null check should be enough to oh nope so let's see what's happening he comes over So at this point in time, he's still sliding and everything's good. 
zips back. He does his check. Not going to hit because it's not long enough in there. It's going to be. It should hit there. All right. Because that's true. goes there, not on ice, it goes there. Blocked. It's not seeing the plane. I'm almost curious if that's the just the position of it. Because I find it weird that if I come over here and into something that blocks me and then go, now I can't. Now it works fine. Right, so it sees something. There's something that needs to be set. I'm probably missing something very simple. Blocked. Because if we're blocked, you know, let's put a break point right here. See what's causing that. Right, because it, it sees it. It knows it's there. And it's got this. Is no. I'm saying to don't break it. And it's going to go through anyways. So that could just be the, the, the timing of this one. I'm kind of curious if I put these into an action sequence, if that will resolve that issue. No, not at all. So, you know what? I am just going to. object. Now let's go down here. Just split that FSM in two. Oh, it still didn't go. Object is null. Is null should we don't break it. But it has object. So unless that is one of these things. Set before hit object to null. What? 
Oh, that's what caused it. Now we have a break point. All right, so you know what? I don't think we actually needed to break this thing up. I think that probably was fine. Only let's put this back up at the top though, or else we're gonna have issues. So we don't need that there. Blocked. Oh, maybe we do need that double state. This saying break it, but if it's null, okay, go up there, come down here. Let's see if we have to just maybe split it here. Gonna be missing something here. So if that works fine. So if it's not null, all, um, uh, whatever. Let's use whatever. Apparent. I don't know. <coughs> Apparently, you gotta run two different things for that. It shouldn't have to, but for some reason. Oh. And now it's. What the hell? Why is it doing that? going to be an easier way to solve that. Right, because we get it, we get the root. Get FSM. You know what, we should... I'd, I'd almost be curious, set int value break value default that like ridiculously high because then if we don't see it yeah see that'll work That, that's just because that ray, I have, I've, I've got the ray in the middle. It'd almost be better using a sphere cast. Mm -hmm. 
but beyond that, I mean, it is working. I mean, like I said, though, the only thing is, like, you got to make sure to be, like, all the stuff needs to go on all four sides. I mean, I, I kind of cheaped out and didn't do it for all four sides. But, yeah. So here we have to kind of set some things to some default values and then do the axis event. But now we have this big um, thing. A grid moving system that can support stairs, walls, you get a little bit of a breakable thing in there. So, you know, that's cool. So, I think that's, oh, I think that's good. We'll talk to you guys later.